Hey guys, I hope that everybody's doing okay. I do not care right now that I am at work. I don't care. This came upon me so strongly that I just need to let y'all know. In this new season that we are going into, when I was doing my, my Bible study sitting here at my desk, I don't care going into this new season, whatever it is that God has called you to let go of, let it go. Whoever it is, whatever situation it is, it doesn't matter because I have a few personal things in my life that I was contemplating over and I was reading Psalm 1 and I was like, you know what, Zip? It doesn't matter what those people think. It doesn't matter what they say. It does not matter. You are fixing to go into your new season and I believe in my heart that a breakthrough is coming in my life so strongly. And I know that there's a breakthrough coming in y'all's life that God has confirmed to you that's going to happen so strongly. You can't afford to be playing around with people, to be feeling sorry for people that pe that God has clearly told you to stay away from, to get away from, to don't even go near them. And I'm going to read Psalm 1 to you guys because it's one of my favorite psalms and it's one that has carried me throughout my life. And um, I'm just going to read it really quick. So it's blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. I don't care if it's your family members. I don't care if it's who you call your friend, whatever it might be. If God has called you to get away from these people and to put these people be behind you, you do it. Let them go because they're going to say what they're going to say and they're going to do what they're going to do and they're going to make you feel bad about it, of course. Who cares? You are called and you are chosen and your breakthrough is coming, your deliverance is coming, your healing is coming, your divine purpose is coming and God has put those inside of you so strongly that he knows he's fixing it. You know he's fixing to do it for you. Let them go. Let them go. And I'm speaking to me. I am speaking to myself because I am the first to help that person or to feel sorry for that person or to have a weight put upon me that I know I shouldn't have for these people that I clearly know God has told me to do not go around them do not be around them let them go I'm gonna do it because I can't afford for them to bring me down and you can't afford for them to bring you down either. And I'm sorry I'm sounding so serious in this video, but guys, we've got to stop it. <laughs> we've got to let them go. We've got to let those circumstances and those situations and the, those people go no matter what they say. It doesn't matter because you know that God has called you to something even greater. And it's not just about you. It is about what God has called you to do for him and his kingdom and for his purposes. You know, you've got to think of people like David and Jacob. And when he called them to go, they had to go. <laughs> and they had to let whatever situations they were in and whatever they had go. You've got to let it go. Even if it's just emotionally, he's called you to let go of this situation. Because you may not be in a position quite yet to let go of the person yet. Or the, or the circumstance or the job or whatever it is yet. Let them go spiritually. Don't let them hold you back. Don't let it hold you back. Don't let it, let it go, let it go. But his delight is in the law of the Lord and on the law, he meditates day and night. You put your focus and your heart and your all into the Lord. Always put him first, put him first. Do not worry about what those people are saying or doing or trying to bring you down about. You put God first, you meditate in his law, you get in his word. And that's what you do. You work on yourself and you work on what he has called you to work on. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you for it and not just for it, but he's going to bless you for doing what he has called you to do for your obedience in him. For your trust in him, for your faith in him, for your love in him, for your holding on. He's going to bless you. He's going to make you prosper. But you've got to let whatever it is that's holding you back go. You've got to let it go. And trust in him. Believe in him. 
not so the wicked. They are like chafe that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor the sinners in the assembly of the righteous. They can't stand with you. They can't go where you're going. They can't be where you're going to be. Let them go. Let it go. Okay, so for the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. You don't want to perish with them. You are God's righteous people, the called people, the chosen people that he has called to him. So, so do whatever it is that you need to do to let them go. And somebody's calling me right now, so I gotta, I gotta go. But I love y'all. Y'all have a good day. Bye.